What's up guys, Jedi Jumper 270 back here with another review. Um, we're going back in time and reviewing some 2011 figures. I know I haven't done many 2012 figure reviews, but I thought this guy was just too cool not to review. So here it is. It is specified as an half trooper or a Camino half trooper. Well, there's, and there's actually another name for it, a wolf pack half trooper. So yeah. So there's the figure. First we are going to take a look at the packaging that she comes upon. It doesn't have a code and like pretty much all the other ones you've seen. This is from U from the UK. Um, picture of the Alpha Trooper, Stars logo, Alpha Trooper right there. And it is in different style packaging. On the back it's got a picture of the Pino Alpha Trooper as you can see, or Wolfpack Alpha Trooper. And I'll talk about that in a minute. You'll see there, it's got a little feature. Description there, which if you'd like to pause and have a read, you're very welcome to. Rest of the wave, and that's pretty much it. Um, nothing on the bottom apart from that. But, um, onto the figure. Well, before we do actually take up the figure, um, of course, it does come with the Galactic Battle Game stand card, which I think is pretty cool, and die. Um, one, like, one accessory that comes with it also is this speeder board, which we first saw released with Quinn Voss in the Clone Wars line. So that is. Um, you can fit. Can you fit one of these in? And I think it's only made for lightsabers. Oh, wait. So you can put your gun in like that, but that looks pretty cheesy. And you can fit some lightsabers, a lightsaber in it as well. Now at the back here, it's got this. Um, what do I call it? Jack? Whatever. Um, and people haven't mentioned this before, but it's actually removable. So, yeah. It's got some really nice detail on them. This um, really does remind me of the Swamp Speeder, which I've reviewed. It's just up there, as you can see. Really does remind me of them. That's really cool. They've included that. Now, another accessory that we've in that was included was this. It's a weapons rack. As you can see, it's got some really, really great sculpting work on it. And um, because this guy does come with two of the new sculpt, well, two of these rifles. As you can see. Sure, they're really nice sculpts, and not as flimsy as the others. Um, you can place them in, like so, on the weapon rack. Um, yep. At first, I didn't know how to do this, but I eventually learned how to do it. There we go. That, both of them can be put in the weapons rack. And now the speeder board. The reason why I don't use the stand is because I use the speeder board as the stand. So that's another reason why it's good that they've included the speeder board. So there it is on the speeder board. Really cool. But we don't really see a column trooper riding a speeder board on Camino. Um, it's an half trooper, of course. It's really, really cool. Head sculpt. Fantastic. I do love my half trooper figures, they're really, really cool. I believe they stand for. Is it. Attack Recon Fight? Advanced Recon Fighter, I think it is. Yeah. And as you can see, it just comes with one of these rifles. Um, because I specify it as a Wolfpack Trooper, it's because it's got Wolfpack symbols all around. And also, we see the Star Series 4. If you look closely, he is riding an ATRT, which is pretty neat. So there we go, it's got some really nice like, maroony colours on it. The articulation is superb. It does have your ball trotted neck, along with ball hinge shoulders and elbows, ball hinge wrists, which is great. Um, a ball jointed torso or ball hinge torso, ball hinged hips, so you can do the splits, which this is kind of the old half trooper articulation, ball hinge knees and ankles, so really, really great. Thumbs up to Hasbro for that articulation. Um, on the bottom it does have the two peg holes so it can put, either put on the stand or anything like that. And also the sculpting on the body is really great as well. I'm not sure whether that's picking it up but it just looks really, really cool. I think I've covered all this all this stuff on this guy. Or um, yeah, I'll just give you a look at the head sculpt. It's got the grey on the as you can see, so that looks pretty cool. And you can really get this guy into some really cool pictures. 
So this is the guy I highly recommend you pick up. I do have Spaz Repair shirtless. Not sure whether I'm going to review him, but yeah. No, I've got the other one. Yeah. Now, if you paid attention in one of my collection updates, you will know that I was going to get this for Christmas, but I actually got it in a haul and got it from a Tesco for 5.55s. Good big deal. So there we go. That's the half trooper. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, oh yeah, before I uh, stop, somebody recently asked me by personal message, how do you open your figures? Now, I know it's a little two to nine, just put a big cut like that, and some other people do. But I actually open it from the bottom. Looks pretty neat. Um, that's how I open my figures. So, yeah. um, so there we go. That's the Camino Art Trooper. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, whether or not I'll have any videos up until Fun Funday, which is in five days, I do not know, but yeah. So until next time, guys, enjoy yourself. May the force be with you.